Russia is the home of many of the world's classic ballets, but it has a more modern feel this week as Canada's National Ballet Company stages its first ever tour here and performers such as principal dancer Greta Hodgkinson are dazzling audiences. The audience is extremely knowledgeable and they are also really appreciative, so um, especially when they really like something. The company arrived over the weekend and after posing for photos in front of famous landmarks, began preparing and rehearsing at Moscow's Stanislavsky Theatre. Wrapping your head around something like this is incredible. Um, I was trying to like it to something like the NHL or the Super, like this is it, this is what you dream of doing. With almost 100 dancers and staff, international tours are already expensive enough to put together. Add in the political deep freeze between Russia and Canada, and dancers know they may not get another opportunity like this. Canada's iconic ballet star Karen Kane, artistic director of the National Ballet, says frosty political relations with Vladimir Putin's government aren't an issue for dancers or audiences. We share this art form that we all love, and I think that um, the arts can kind of exist on another level from politics. The company was invited and most of their bills paid for by superstar Russian ballerina Diana Vishneva. She hosts this yearly festival to expose Russian audiences to new ballet treatments. It's the quality of the company, it's the repertoire, it's the history of the company, the tradition of the company. After opening night, the Canadian company may have won over some new fans. I'm a doctor, she told us, not a ballet specialist, but I think this performance can help you recover from any disease. I am so glad I came. The Canadian tour will play a final performance Friday in St. Petersburg. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.